Urinary surgery part two. Kidney is the commonest urinary organ to have anomalies. Most renal anomalies are asymptomatic, they need no treatment. The anomalous kidney is liable to any diseases that affect normal kidney. Polycystic kidney is a common cause of renal failure. Idiopathic pelvic ureteric junction obstruction or PUJO, P-U-J-O, incidence, common cause of hydronephrosis in children and adolescents, but without hydroureter, more often in males with the left side predominating, bilateral obstruction occurs in at least 10 to 15 percentage of the cases, pathology, intrinsic and extrinsic, intrinsic, aberrant development of the ureteric or renal pelvis, circular smooth muscle, leading to aperistaltic segments of the ureter at PUJO, obstructing urine outflow, leading to hydronephrosis, which is balanced or it can progress. Extrinsic, compression from a barent or accessory vessel to the lower pole, over which the pujo runs. Clinical picture, it's variable according to age. Prenatal, ultrasonography can diagnose conditions in fetus. In infants, abdominal mass, the most frequent. In children, episodic intermittent flank pain following fluid intake, vomiting may be present. In adults, loin pain, recurrent UTI, and hypertension. Pujo and posterior urethral valves are common anomalies which require early treatment to preserve renal function. Investigations, ultrasonography, diagnose condition exclusively in the prenatal period because of the wide use of maternal ultrasound, should be repeated postnatally after the first few weeks of life. It shows renal pelvis dilatation in absence of dilated ureter. Excretory urography, dilated pelvic calcial system with abrupt contrast arrest at the PUG. The ureter is non-visualized or of normal caliber, micturating cystorethrogram or MCUG is mandatory to rule out reflux. Treatment, observation with serial ultrasound and renogram indications, asymptomatic stable cases, good renal functions, no other complications such as persistent infection or stones, pyeloplasty, approach, open or laparoscopic indications, symptomatic children, significant hydronephrosis, impaired renal function, differential renal function less than 40%, or prolonged drainage method, excision of the redundant part of the pelvis and proximal segment of the ureter and reconstruction of the pelvic ureteric junction to avoid stasis and infection. Anomalies of the bladder, bladder extrophy, ectopia vesicae, persistent urachus, umbilical fistula, contracture of the bladder neck and vesicae ureteric reflux. Bladder exestrophy or ectopia vesicae, clinical picture, Lower part of the anterior abdominal wall and anterior wall of the bladder are deficient. Inner surface of the posterior wall of the bladder bulges through defect with its mucosal edges fused with the surrounding skin. Urine flows onto abdominal wall from exposed ureteral orifices. Bladder mucosa appears normal at birth, but persistent irritation and recurrent infections leading to chronic inflammation, metaplastic changes, and sometimes malignant transformation. Winding of the synthesis pubis connected by intersymphyseal band Characteristic waddling gait when the child begins to walk, an umbilical hernia is always present, oblique inguinal hernias may be present as well, distorted pelvic anatomy, variable degrees of anal incontinence and rectal prolapse in males, associated epispedius with short widening, uh, widened penis, testes frequently appear undescended, they are actually ret uh, retractile, in females, clitoris is cleft and associated vaginal anomalies. Incidence, 1 in 50,000 live birth, more common in males, from 4 to 1. Embryological basis, failure of colloquial membrane to be reinforced by ingress of mesoderm, leading to ventral defect of urogenital sinus and overlying skeletal system. Complications, recurrent UTI, sterility, excoriation of the skin of the anterior abdominal wall, development of bladder cancer due to metaplastic changes, treatment, at birth, minimize trauma to the bladder mucosa by covering the bladder with plastic firm and film and irrigate regularly with sterile saline. Functional reconstruction timing, preferably in the first 40 hours or 48 hours of life. Advantages, minimize bladder damage secondary to environmental exposure, may avoid the need for osteotomies. Procedure, whether one stage repair or three stage repair. Newborn, closure of the bladder, abdominal wall and posterior urethra. If more than 72 hours, pelvic osteotomy, cutting the bone to correct the deformity with external fixation. 6 to 12 months, epispedius repair, and later on, bladder augmentation or urinary diversion is required as bladder capacity is too small. When there is adequate bladder capacity and children can participate in widening protocols, bladder neck reconstruction and anti-reflux surgery is performed. VUR or vesicoureteric reflux, 
Definition, abnormal retrograde urine flow from the bladder to upper urinary tract. Pathogenesis, reflux is normally prevented by efficient ureteric crystallisis, lower bladder, uh, low bladder pressures, ability of the vesicoureteric junction to occlude the distal ureter during bladder contraction. Reflux occurs when the normal anti-reflux mechanism is disturbed, especially when the intramural length of the ureter is too short. Etiology, primary and secondary, primary due to congenital abnormality of the vesicoureteric junction, secondary due to bladder neck obstruction. Complications, recurrent UTI and pyronephretic scarring, reflux nephropathy, leading to dilated calcices, renal parenchymal thinning and scarring, hypertension, progressive renal failure. Clinical picture, may be asymptomatic, discovered accidentally during micturating cysturethrogram, MCUG, or IVU, or renal ultrasound done for some other causes, shows ureteric and renal pelvis dilatation, symptoms of UTI, fever, dysuria, vomiting, and diarrhea, failure to thrive, loin pain with full bladder or immediately after micturition. Investigations, lab and radiological, lab, urine analysis and culture, we have UTI, radiological, ultrasound scan, MCUG, the definitive test, diagnose and grade reflux, and establish reversible causes, urodynamics, it's suspicious of voiding dysfunction, DEMSA, to detect and monitor associated renal cortical scarring. Management, correct secondary causes, the majority of mild primary VUR will resolve spontaneously, leading to initially observant and observation and medical treatment, timed voiding and double voiding, low dose antibiotic prophylaxis, keep the urine sterile, follow up by renogram, ultrasound and MCUG. Surgery indications, severe reflux or failure of medical treatment, approach laparoscopic or open ureteric reimplantation. Anomalies of the urethra, hypospedias and epispedias, hypospedias incidence, one in every 300 male children, positive family history in 8% of cases, hypospedias is anterior in 65% of cases, med penile in 15% and penoscrotal or perianal in 20% of cases. Definition, it means that the urethral meatus opens on the ventral aspect of the penis at any point from the glans penis to the perineum. Pathology, incomplete development of the terminal part of the urethra and corpus spongiosum, missing urethral distal part is replaced by fibrous band, called cordy, etiology, hormonal causes and deficient receptors, hormonal causes, deficiency of androgens of or 5-alpha, dehydrotestosterone reductase enzyme during intrauterine life, deficient receptors in target cells, classification, glandular, meatus is at the glands, coronal, as the coronal sulcus, penile, at ventral surface of penile shaft, anterior, mid, or posterior penile, penis scrotal at the junction of penis and scrotum, perineal, scrotum is usually bifid and urethra opens between its two halves, clinical picture, meatus is ventrally placed and stenosed, prepuce is deficient and ventrolaterally, shaft is ventrally curved due to the presence of cordy except in the glandular variety, scrotum is bifid and in the perineal type, Associated lesions, 10% of patients have inguinal hernia or undescended testis, 8% of cases have upper urinary tract anomalies, patients with posterior hypospedias have problem with sex differentiation, investigations, ultrasound to detect upper urinary tract problems, treatment, don't do circumcision because repuse can used for repair. Surgery can be done in one stage most cases or two stages in difficult severe cases. Timing, at the age of one year, aim, have a normally functioning male organ with normally situated meatus at the tip of the glands. The principles, release the cordy, ventral curvature of the penis is corrected, and new ure urethra is fashioned using neighboring skin from the prepuce or the penile skin. Epispedius, definition, the urethral meatus opens on the dorsum of the penis, the reverse of hypospedius. Pedius, Incidence, complete epispedius, 1 in 120,000 males and 1 in 450,000 females. Clinical picture and classification in males, classified into glandular, penine, penopubic, complete types. They are all associated with varying degrees of dorsal cordy. Incontinence is associated with penile epispedius in 75% of cases and penopubic epispedius in 95% of cases. In females, Bifid clitoris, separation of libya, and most of them are incontinent. Glandular epispedius is not associated with incontinence. Epispedius is a mild form of bladder exostrophy. Both coexist in severe cases. Treatment. Aim to straighten the penis, extend urethral glans penis, extend urethra to the glans penis, achieve continence as patient grows, 
urethral lengthens and prostate enlarges to improve continence. And then we're gonna go for injuries of the urinary tract. Renal injuries. Renal injuries are serious and may be complicated by injuries of other organs, complications of renal injuries, urine and blood extravasation, fibrosis around the kidney, ureteric obstruction leading to hydronephrosis, rupture, thrombosis or fibrosis, impair renal blood supply, atrophy or fibrosis, renal ischemia leading to renovascular hypertension, if hematoma becomes infected or liquefied, a localized collection of clear amber fluid leading to perirenal cyst, penetrating injuries, AV fistula, and pseudohydronephrosis, accumulation of urine oil around the kidney. Incidents relatively rare due to kidneys are protected by rib cage and by heavy back muscles. The kidneys are mobile in their adipose fat, free away from the force of the trauma. The fibrous capsule protects the parenchyma from splitting. Etiology, blunt injuries, penetrating wounds and iatrogenic injuries. Blunt injuries, the commonest, 80 to 85 percentage, due to direct trauma to the abdomen, common, flank or back as in road traffic accident, indirect, less common or counter -cool injury, falling from a height and landing on the feet or buttocks, penetrating wounds, knives or bullets, rare, associated visceral injuries are present in 80 percentage, atrogenic injuries occur during surgery. Grades of injury, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Construction or non-expanding subcapsular hematoma, no laceration. 2. Non-expanding perirenal hematoma, cortical laceration less than 1 cm deep without extravasation. 3. Cortical laceration more than 1 cm deep without urinary extravasation. 4. Laceration through corticomedullary junction into collecting system or vascular segmental renal artery or vein injury with contained hematoma. 5. Laceration, shattered kidney, and vascular or vascular renal pedicle injury or avulsion. Clinical picture, symptoms, pain in the renal angle, hematuria, its degree is not proportionate to the severity of the injury, usually noted with the first voiding but may be late and appear due to hypotension. It may be continuous or intermittent. About 30% of vascular injuries are not associated with hematuria. Absent in complete pedicle avulsion, ureteric injury, nausea, vomiting, and abdominal distension due to intestinal atony, common in retroperitoneal bleeding, retention of urine due to clots in the bladder, signs, general and local, general hypovolemia in patients with severe renal injury, local, local tenderness or rigidity, mass in the flank due to extravasated blood and urine, diffuse abdominal tenderness, abdominal distension, and hypoperistalsis, hypoperistalsis if overlying peritoneum is torn, and leakage occur into the peritoneal cavity. Investigations, lab, radiology, lab, urine analysis, RBCs present in almost all cases, hematocrete value, progressive anemia, progressive hemorrhage, leading to lowering of the hematocrete value, renal function tests may be impaired from prolonged hypotension, bilateral injuries, or injury of a solitary kidney, radiology, ultrasound, showing size and contour of the kidney, visualized collection around it, plain UT, x-ray film, doesn't show the injury, but it may show indirect evidence, such as obliteration of the psoas shadow by a hematoma, and shows associated rib or spine fractures, IVU, Visualizes upper urinary tract as soon as the shock is controlled and blood pressure is more than 100 mm mercury. It may show normal function and configuration of the kidney if the injury is minimal. Deformed pelvis or calcis if there is laceration or blood clots. Contrast extravasation within renal shadow or into perirenal space. Non-visualization of kidney. Total pedicle avulsion. Arterial thrombosis or severe contusion leading to vascular spasm. Confirming the presence of a functioning kidney on the opposite side as nephrectomy of the injured kidney may be needed, CT abdomen and pelvis with IV contrast, the most accurate, diagnose and grade renal trauma, it shows parenchymal lacerations, urinary extravasation, perirenal hematoma, non viable renal tissue and other organ injuries, and geography indications, cases suspected to have renal artery thrombosis in order to place a stent across the thrombus, renal isotope scanning or DEMSA, useful in patients allergic to contrast material, lack of uptake suggesting injury or laceration of the renal artery, areas of decreased activity compatible with renal contusion, while absence of uptake in one pole, suggesting amputation. Perirenal extravasation of radioactive urine may appear. Treatment, conservative and surgical, conservative, hospitalization with bed rest until hematuria has ceased and local signs of injury have sub uh, subsided, analgesia for pain, large fluid intake to guard against clot retention and for hypovolemia, broad spectrum antibiotics, guard against secondary infection, 
follow up parameters, pulse, blood pressure, and size of any perirenal mass, repeated urine samples for gross and microscopic hematuria, hemoglobin and hematocrit estimations, surgical, principles, transperitoneal approach, the colon is reflected medially, preliminary control of the vascular pedicle using vascular clamps, hematoma around the injured kidney is evacuated, debridement of traumatized and devascularized renal tissues, small defects of cortical tissue are approximated by sutures, large defects filled, filled by omental and perirenal fat to obliterate any dead space, watertight closure of the pelvic cell system, partial nephrectomy if one pole of the kidney is avulsed, nephrectomy if the kidney is shattered or with complete avulsion of vascular pedicle provided that the other kidney is functioning well, indications of surgical repair, persistent progressive hematuria or failure of vital stabilization, presence of progressive perirenal mass, evidence of perirenal infection, penetrating injuries, renal pedicle injury, 5%, associated intraperitoneal injury, and indications for delayed surgery, such as hydronephrosis and hypertension. Hydronephrosis to relieve the obstruction, hypertension for vascular repair or nephrectomy. Ureteric injuries, we have etiology, iatrogenic injuries, and this is the most frequent, during difficult surgery or extensive gynecological operations or abdominal perineal resection of the rectum, endoscopic urological procedures, cytoscopic ureteric catheterization, ureteroscopy and nephroscopy, blunt or penetrating trauma, rare, pelvic radiation therapy, preparatory ureteric catheterization, expose ureter early in the procedure, avoid injury, in patients with bilateral ureteric obstruction, there's anuria and acute renal failure. Clinical picture of the ureteric injuries, extravasation of urine, which may be intraperitoneal or extraperitoneal, intraperitoneal peritonitis or to urinary fistula if there's drain, Extraperitoneal, enlarging urine collection at the site of injury, retroperitoneal collection, reflex paralytic alias, ureteric obstruction, bile ligature, complete obstruction or partial obstruction, complete obstruction, suppressing urine production from the corresponding kidney, renal shutdown, partial obstruction leading to hydronephrosis, investigations, ultrasound, ureteric obstruction leading to distension of the pelvic ACL system, intravenous pyelography, showing distension of the pelvic, pelvic ACL system, delayed secretion or extravasation of the contrast, ureteric catheterization and retrograde pyelography, will reveal obstruction and extravasation at the site of injury, treatment, mainly surgical, depending upon the general condition of the patient, time of presentation, extent and site of injury, principles, debridement, tension-free anastomosis, ureteral stenting and drainage, watertight closure, operation, Early diagnosis, delayed unfavorable cases, and ureteric catheterization and stenting. Early diagnosis within the first week, exploration of the ureter and repairing of the injury by end-to-end -end anastomosis or by re-implantation of lower end of the ureter into the bladder, provided that the patient's general condition is good and the surgeon is experienced. Delayed unfavorable cases, urinary diversion by percutaneous nephrostomy and postponing ureteric reconstruction, Ureteric catheterization and stenting successful in some cases. Urinary bladder injuries, extraperitoneal rupture, which is 80%, and intraperitoneal rupture, with, which is 20%. For the extraperitoneal rupture, etiology, pelvic fracture, the commonest, fracture pelvis or iatrogenic, and for the intraperitoneal, blow or a kick to the lower abdomen in a full bladder, and this is the commonest. The rest etiologies are common for extra and intraperitoneal rupture, which are open injuries by stabs or bullets, surgical operations as hernia repair, where there are many, where there may be a sliding bladder, hysterectomy, or abdominal perineal resection, during cystoscopic procedures as transurethral resection of the prostate or diathermy, fulguration of a bladder tumor. Clinical picture for extraperitoneal, we have history of trauma, pelvic fracture, Intense desire to void as the urine starts to collect in the retropubic space, but the patient passes only few drops of blood, stained urine, or none at all. Signs, hypovolemic shock, a boogie swelling in the suprapubic area, which rises upwards as urine extravasates between the peritoneum and transversalis fascia, so, uh, similar to the intrapelvic rupture of the urethra. DRE shows prostate in its normal position to differentiate it from the intrapelvic rupture of the urethra. Necrotizing phlegmon due to chemical irritation of the anterior abdominal wall in untreated cases. For the intraperitoneal rupture, symptoms, sudden agonizing pain in the suprapubic area, later, dull aching pain all over the abdomen, 
Sivir Oligyuria or Anyuria, urine collects in peritoneum, signs, shock, peritonism, later, peritonitis with tenderness, rebound tenderness and girding all over the abdomen, if amount of urine is large, abdominal distension and shifting dullness, the DRE shows fullness in rectovesical pouch, passing a urinary caster brings no urine. Differential diagnosis for the extra peritoneal rupture, we have intrapelvic, complete urethral rupture, the DRE, prostate migrates up and felt higher than normal. Complications for both extra and intraperitoneal rupture. We have pelvic abscess from infected hematoma or urine collection. Delayed peritonitis. Partial incontinence if bladder neck is injured. Treatment of renal injuries is mainly conservative. Most ureteric injuries are iatrogenic following surgical and endoscopic procedures. Bilateral ureteric ligation leads to anuria. The best way to avoid intraoperative ureteric injuries is to do preliminary exposure of the ureters. Bladder or urethral injuries should be suspected in patients with pelvic fractures. Extrapelvic injury of the urethra is diagnosed by triad of retention of urine, few, few drops of blood, add external meatus, and perineal swelling. Investigations for both, whether extra or intraperitoneal rupture, plain X-ray pelvic fracture, IVU excludes other injuries and lack of the urinary bladder filling. Ascending cystogram to give definitive diagnosis. It shows leakage of contrast outside the bladder. Treatment, management of shock. Small extraperitoneal rupture with minimal extravasation. Fully castered drainage for two weeks till healing occurs. Large extraperitoneal rupture. Needs repair. Bladder tear is exposed. Its edges are trimmed and the defect is closed in two layers with polygalactin or vicarel. A fully caster is left in bladder and a drain is placed in retropubic space. In intraperitoneal rupture, open the peritoneum, drain extravasated urine, and to exclude any associated intraperitoneal injury, antibiotic prophylaxis, treatment of pelvic fracture according to its type, internal fixation of the broken bone is contraindicated in presence of urine extravasation for the fear of causing osteomyelitis. Then we have bulbous urethral injury is more frequent than that of the penile part, Membranous urethral injury is more frequent than that of the prostatic part. Castorization is contraindicated in patients suspected of having rupture of the urethra because the proper pre treatment is to do suprapubic cystostomy. Urethral injuries are instance more common in men and rare in women. Side, anterior urethra, bulbous or penile. Posterior urethra, prostatic and membranous. Types we have complete or incomplete according to the circumference extent. Total or partial according to the depths in the wall. Injury of posterior urethra, membranous urethra, equals to intrapelvic rupture. Injury of anterior or bulbous urethra, extrapelvic rupture. Etiology. For posterior urethra, severe trauma, pelvic fracture, road traffic accident similar to the extraperitoneal rupture of bladder, sometimes spontaneously injured, iatrogenic by an expert transurethral instrumentation. Injury of the anterior urethra, etiology, perineal crushing forces, falling astride, hard object over hard object, such as a bar of a cycle, common, leading to crushing of the urethra against the pubis, or a kick to the perineum. Types of the posterior urethral injury, we have mucosal tear and false passage caused by faulty instrumentation, laceration of a part of the circumference, complete circumferential laceration or complete circumferential laceration with torn pubo-prostatic ligament leading to urinary, bladder and prostate are free of any fixation so they float upwards leaving a gap between the torn ends of the urethra. But for the injury of anterior urethra, the types, contusion, laceration which doesn't involve the whole circumference, laceration which involves the whole urethral circumference, Complications of the posterior urethral injury, blood loss, hemorrhagic shock, deep extravasation of urine in the extraperitoneal space, injury of external sphincter, sphincter urethry, if internal sphincter or sphincter vesicae is also damaged, it leads to incontinence, impotence if nerves to corpora cavernosa adjacent to the membranous urethra are injured, and finally urethral stricture. And then we have complications of uh, the anterior urethral injury. Urine extravasation during voiding through superficial perineal pouch, stricture of urethra, urethral fistula, neglected cases get infected and sloughing of perineal skin may occur, periurethral abscess. Take a picture of posterior urethral injury, symptoms, history of severe trauma, patient is unable to void urine, 
though he feels the desire to micturate, signs hypovolemic shock, drops of blood at the external meatus, DRE, higher than normal floating prostate, distended, distended urinary bladder, excludes extraperitoneal rupture of urinary bladder, Castorization is contraindicated in suspected injury because it may compound the damage and introduce infection. For the injury of anterior uh, urethra, we have the symptoms, history of classic trauma, perineal pain, signs, passage of few drops of blood from anterior urethral meatus, perineal hematoma, urine extravasation if present, it involves the perineum penis scrotum and lower part of the anterior abdominal wall, the triad of urethral hemorrhage, perineal hematoma, and retention of urine is diagnostic. Investigations for the posterior urethral injury, ascending urethrogram showing extravasation, plain x-ray, assess fracture of pelvic bones, urgent intravenous urography, IVU, detects associated urinary tract injuries to see the position of the urinary bladder, differential diagnosis, extraperitoneal bladder rupture. But for the anterior urethral injury, we have ascending urethrogram to show the extravasation of the blood. Treatment for posterior urethral injury, blood transfusion and resuscitation, suprapubic cystostomy in the emergency room with no attempt of castorization, the pelvic fracture is immobilized and the treatment of urethral structure, if present, is whether by surgery or endoscopic visual urethrotomy. For treating anterior urethral injury, if urethral injury is suspected, instruct the patient to not try to void. Passage of castor is contraindicated as it can transfer a partial tear into a complete one or introduce infection. Immediate repair of the urethra is rarely required. Early treatment, contusion of bubble urethra, usually needs no treatment if urethrogram shows extravasation of contrast material, diversion of urine by suprapubic cystostomy, and give prophylactic antibiotics, an expanding hematoma of perineum or infected urine extravasation leads to incisions and no, I'm sorry, treated by incisions and drainage. Later treatment, after three weeks, the urinary bladder is filled with contrast material and micturating cyst urethrogram is obtained. If urethra is normal, remove suprapubic tube. If structure develops, endoscopic urethrotomy followed by repeated dilatation. And for tight and long structures, surgical correction. Urinary tract infections, non-specific infections, and since more frequent in females than males, etiology and pathology, causative organisms, Estrichia coli in 80% and Proteus mirabilis, ureasplatic organism, leading to uh, ammonia and alkali this urine, Pseudomonas aeruginosa with urinary stasis, gram positive cocci, staphylococci and enterococci, rare, chlamydia with diabetes, prolonged antibiotic abuse and reduced immunity, root of infection, ascending infection, the most common, perineum organisms ascend through the urethra, especially in females, hematogenous and lymphatic spread are rare, predisposing factors, females, particularly the sexually active ones, because they have short urethra, during sexual intercourse, bacteria are transferred from the vulvo vaginal and urethral areas into the bladder, pregnancy is associated with functional ureteric slow prestalysis, leading to higher incidence of pyelonephritis, defective immunity as diabetes and immunosuppression, urinary stasis, which may be mechanical as stones, or functional as neurogenic bladder and vesicoureteric reflux, urethral instrumentation, push normally colonized bacteria, types, uncomplicated and complicated, uncomplicated, no structural abnormality and infection is harmless to kidneys, short course of antibiotic eradicates the infection, complicated UTI accompanied by obstruction, combination of upper UTI and obstruction leads to rapid renal damage, responds slowly to antibiotics and needs relief of obstruction. Complications, bacterial persistence and chronicity if not properly treated, septicemia and septic shock, stone formation, impairment of renal function which ends in renal damage. The non-specific UTI basic facts, the main organism is E. coli from colon, females more than males, main predisposing factors, urinary stasis and castorization, uncomplicated UTIs are easy to treat, UTI complicated by obstruction, difficult to treat, and they are so serious if obstruction is high, Treatment includes antibiotics against gram-negative bacilli, relieving obstruction and high fluid intake. Investigations. Laboratory. Identify the organism and its antibiotic sensitivity. Clean catch midstream urine, MSU, specimen, obtained and cultured immediately. In babies, specially designed bag attached to genitalia. By urea, bus cells in urine. Bacteria counts more than 10 power 5 per milliliter. Radiological. Excludes structural and pathological abnormalities. Plain X-ray. KUV, 
Ultrasound, IV and urine flow rate needed in selected cases such as upper tract infections by nephritis, especially if with fever, infections in children to look for congenital anomalies, persistent bacteria, and finally recurrent infections. Treatment, high fluid intake to in uh, induce diuresis, antibiotics mandatory for all cases, the root, oral for most cases, IV in severe cases of nephritis with fever and rigors, choice, Depending on culture and sensitivity, the most commonly used are trimethoprime sulfa mesoxazole, septrin, or nitrofurantoin, or quinolones. Relieving obstruction may be urgent. Drainage of an abscess if present. Prophylaxis for recurrent cases by fluid intake at least 2 liters per day. Perineal hygiene, especially in females. Regular voiding. Avoid constipation, which may impair bladder emptying. And finally, prophylactic small doses of antibiotics for a few months. Pyelonephritis definition, infection of the renal parenchyma and pelvis, incidence commoner in females, particularly during pregnancy, etiology, causative organism, we have E. coli, the usual organism, proteus, route of infection, ascending usually, hematogenous, less commonly, complications, septicemia, septic shock, pyelonephrosis, urine flow obstruction leading to dilatation, a bag of pus, renal damage due to combination of obstruction and infection, perinephric abscess, chronic pyelonephritis, scarring of the kidney, and leading to renal hypertension if bilateral chronic renal failure occurs. Clinical picture, symptoms, sudden severe loin pain, fever and rigors, vomiting, frequency burning micturition and dysuria, signs, temperature rises up to 39 to 40 degrees Celsius, tenderness in the renal angle and sometimes muscular rigidity, bilateral pyelonephritis giving features of uremia, in severe cases, ill-looking patient if not treated, have septic shock. Investigations, laboratory, midstream urine sample for culture and sensitivity, blood urea and serum creatinine, blood sugar and electrolytes, radiological, ultrasound for hydronephrosis in cases of obstruction. It may be acute or chronic. Distinction between non-obstructed and obstructed acute pyelonephritis is important. The classic picture of acute pyelonephritis is acute onset of fever, chills, flank pain, pyuria and bacteria. Differential diagnosis, basal pneumonia and pleurisy, acute cholecystitis, differential diagnosis by ultrasound, acute appendicitis, the initial pain is periumbilical, acute pancreatitis, and finally perinephric abscess. Investigations, we have mentioned it, treatment, pyronephritis in children, vesicoureteric reflux, is the usual cause of pyronephritis in children, non-obstructed acute pyronephritis, rest in bed, Adequate hydration by drinking large amount of fluids. If there is vomiting, give IV fluids and antiemetics, analgesics and antipyretics as NSAIDs. Alkalinization of urine to relieve dysuria and inhibit organisms, uh, organisms growth. Antibiotics for three weeks against gram-negative bacilli until culture and sensitivity result is available. Obstructed acute pyonephritis. In addition to the measures of the non-obstructed cases, we need urgent drainage of the obstructed kidney, and this is mandatory, by number one, ultrasound guided percutaneous nephrostomy, or number two, cystoscopic placement of ureteric caster extends from renal pelvis to the bladder. When the patient improves, deal with the cause of obstruction. Urological investigations are done to exclude underlying abnormality. Repeated urine cultures are done to ensure cure. And this concludes our part for the urosurgery for today.